This is a night one. It is a little bit dark mm -hmm. on his wings, but his head is clear. Yes. And that's nice. And this is a tiny little bird, but he's beautiful. Mm. One of the things that I think most of us like a lot is a small undulation on it's small patches of undulation, but it looks very attractive uh, on the birds. This is a very old picture of a Danish uh, pied. That also even says Danish. Or there's another word for them called harlequin. Harlequin. Yeah, yeah, harlequin was used. It's not so much. It's not so you not much used anymore, but it was used before. But the real name was Danish pied, and then they changed it. <coughs> and this is what you get from the BS when you uh, see uh, the. When you, when you become a member of the BS Club, you uh, get some pictures of the bird varieties. And this is the page where the different varieties are. And those pipes are beautiful. One of them, that's bandit nothing bandit. to do, that's a banded Australian pipe. That's the way they did look. But they definitely doesn't look that way either. And the last one here, bandit this bandit one, bandit. it's a what? Frosted no, no, no. no. Clear flight. it's a Dutch pipe Dutch pipe. at that flight. time. Now we call them continental pipe uh, or dominant pipe. But at that time, when they came to world, they had light flight. You can see the flights are yeah, white, really white, but you <laughs> seldom see that nowadays. You all, you can see them with some bright flights, but they almost always have one or two black uh, flights as well. So we've been able to ruin a lot of things. And this is a sketch, a sketch over the different types of uh, pipes. It, 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 you won't be able to see it down there. But uh, before we always uh, mentioned the different varieties. But there has been more. There was also something named the Finnish pipe, which is rubbish. Because what happened is that the Danish director of the zoological garden in Copenhagen, he became the director of the zoological garden in Finland, and he brought his Danish pies to Finland. So suddenly they were <laughs> Finnish pies. That's the way it goes. <clears throat> and another figure of how they should look. A bright, it's a beautiful bird. <coughs> Another example, what do you call this? a yellow face, sky blue. Is the real bird or? No, 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 no it's ske it sketches. Uh, it's Sketch. much easier to make a nice bird when you draw it than to make it yourself. So this is a <coughs> bird, it's a couple of years ago. I think it's two years old, this picture. It's uh, seen from a pottery guard perspective, a very good pottery guard, except a lot of flicking. Always you see this flicking. It's a pity. And the, the difficulties for a judge is that you often have one of these birds and one that doesn't have flicking but is a much lesser bird. So what to choose. And uh, we haven't got... And here's a... It's even a, a <laughs> even better bird. Yes. But, with but Again with it's almost spots in, in, uh, in the top of the head. And uh, it's a pity, but it's a beautiful uh, or a good bird. That's the way it should look. A little bit flecked, but bright. It's got some flecking. An old picture again. Don't need to see that if we want to. Greatest problems, I can read some of them up. Yeah. Primary wing flights, not white, but more in the direction of a grey's dirty. Spots when they are not full colored, so they also look gray. Too heavily marked. Slurred markings. As I showed you, the markings should be distinctive. Small patches of uh, markings, not like... Uh, must be either white or black, not gray and fading, but sharply, sharply defined. Our crossbirds, heavy in melanin, carries the main responsibility for this. 
I'm sure that there will be many breeders around the world who do not agree with me. That's the way it is. That was that. That was about the recessive pipe. You might have some questions. The Danish pipe, I would like to say. Any questions? Yeah? Yeah. Uh, what is the method of reducing the melanin or flecking in the bird? For example, if, the, if these birds are heavy in size, but they do have flecking on their heads, yeah. so how can we reduce or how can we remove the fault present in the line? Yeah. It, it, is, anyway? it is also, it is always us who decides which bird we use to breathing. Yeah. Yeah. So the, f the error is, when I point at you, I've always got three fingers pointing at myself. You have exhibited a, a bird with flicking, but there are three fingers pointing at myself. Do I breed the right birds as well? Yeah. So you have to select birds where you eliminate these faults. And it goes not only for recessive parts. You have to be tough. It's not always so easy if you have 28 birds and 14 cages, and then you might use them all. But sometimes it's better only to have 10 pairs and say, okay, these last uh, can, can go, or they're better off in a, 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 an aviary somewhere where people can enjoy them. Because it's, you cannot easily get rid of it. You might pair them to a clear bird. You might be lucky in the first uh, round, but then the second generation, the problem uh, comes back. Yes. And uh, I, one of the, there was a British uh, botanic uh, writer called William Watmuff. He wrote one sentence that I think many botanic breeders doesn't use anymore: ruthless elimination. And that doesn't mean you kill the bird. That means that you deselect it from your stud. Ruthless elimination. That's the best way to obtain what you want. Uh, but of course it's very difficult because often those heavily flecked birds also the best from head and size and uh, so it is difficult to decide not to use it. But the end result is that you always have to deal with flecked birds. So uh, I almost never ever use flecked birds in my bird room not depending on what variety at all, out they go. It's cool. uh, <coughs> so, uh, but that, that's a tough decision to take and you also have to be prepared to some situation where the quality is falling in your birdhouse for a little period. But you'll come back.